severe tricuspid regurgitation is associated with some real severe consequences. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of uh, class one indications to really help manage the intervention of these patients. So some very high risk surgical patients may go untreated. So what we have is in the March 31st issue of Jack, the first in human successful transcatheter tricuspid valve repair, and it is for severe tricuspid regurgitation. So I am with Dr. Rebecca Hahn, uh, who is the Director of Interventional Echocardiography at the Columbia University Medical Center, New York Presbyterian Hospital. First, congratulations. Thank you so much. Whenever you have a first in human experience, it's like, oh, this is great. You must have gone through heck to get here. but. Uh, Let's start with a little history about this approach. How did it come about? Well, this is a, an approach that was designed for the mitral valve. And uh, the mitral sphere uh, for mitral repair, transcatheter mitral repair, has just a number of different devices out there. And this is a device that was designed as a direct annuloplasty device. Um, it's a suture device that can you can put in pairs of pledgeted sutures and then draw those sutures together in order to reduce the annular uh, dimensions. And so it has been successfully used on the mitral side um, um, they're analyzing their data now, but then uh, the thought came to them that they could actually easily transfer that over to the tricuspid side, which is a purely, uh, you know, venous uh, intervention and uh, would therefore be relatively safe. And um, uh, they've successfully migrated their mitral device over to the tricuspid side with very little changes. Now, this whole thing ended up being designed with the idea in mind that interventional echocardiography would be a key element of this, correct? Yes. yes. Yeah, the, the, the beauty of these, uh, the first in man is that, and first in human, was that they actually asked me to come over uh, to implant this with Dr. Schofer in, in, in Hamburg, Germany. And um, I think it's really the first that I've ever heard that an echocardiographer has now become one of the essential players to the heart team um, in these new devices and trying to ensure the success of, the, of these new devices. So it was a lot of fun for me to go over and work with this wonderful team of people. So in Jack, you could talk about the paper, talk about the patient and who it was and what you did. Um, this was an, an elderly patient who um, had isolated tricuspid regurgitation and that's a, a population of patients that doesn't have left-sided valvular or heart disease. And um, it's a patient population that has recently been described and the outcome, natural history of that, of that disease um, is abysmal. And so the outcomes are poor. And it's a patient population that we have no class one indications for intervention. Um, the current class one indications in our guidelines is for uh, intervention on the tricuspid side if you are going in already for the mitral. Um, and so it's a patient that was a high risk surgeon candidate for an isolated tricuspid procedure. And so we went ahead and she consented to the procedure and um, it just was, uh, it went very, very smoothly. She saw an immediate, we saw an immediate effect. Uh, the patient was able to diurese very effectively in hospital, um, went home in uh, um, just uh, five days and it was just, it, it, was, it was a great, great result for the first in human. So now that you've had a glass of champagne, what's next? Well, they're going ahead and, and uh, implanting in, in uh, more patients. There are now a total of five uh, that the device has, and all five, these are the first five, have all successfully had uh, devices implanted. So either um, two or three pledgeted devices all have had a greater than 50% reduction in the annular uh, area, which is phenomenal. Um, all have had somewhere between um, a 30 to 50 percent reduction in the uh, in the quantification of uh, tricuspid regurgitation, um, and I think procedurally the success rate is phenomenal. And now uh, the the next steps are to try and really fine tune the procedure uh, to optimize the amount of regurgitant uh, uh, reduction um, and to really fine tune how many pledgets, where to position them, et cetera. But I think with the first five procedural successes is, is really something for a new device. Well, we've had a lot of success with TAVR. And so I think this is encouraging and inspiring you to move ahead and, and try something different in these patients. Yes, yes, it's, 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 it's definitely true. I think as we go more to transcatheter devices less invasive. Um, we're really encouraged, though, by the, by the initial results. Well, the results are published in the March 31st, 2015 issue of Jack, and it's the first inhuman 
successful transcatheter tricuspid valve repair, so please take a look at that. Uh, Dr. Hans' paper in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology. For Cardio Source World News, I'm Executive Editor Rick McGuire.